sustainable fish products can make a difference. But can we trust the information on the packaging? Today, cutting-edge forensic science can be used to ensure that what we eat is what we think it is. Samples. We've collected just over 200 so far, and um, we're sending you a list. All people from different regions have collected these and labelled them up. There is Atlantic and Pacific cod, mm -hmm. there's hake, there's hokey, pollock. That looks good. Plenty yeah, big enough. So. Well, we'll get cracking with the testing. Thank you. The DNA testing is important to the, the MSC because what we're, we're showing is we're giving assurance um, in the supply chain and giving assurance that those MSC eco-labelled products relate to the sustainable fisheries. There are times where, say with um, white fish products, where myself or someone else buying at a, a supermarket wouldn't necessarily be able to tell what species they're eating. So there is a risk that somewhere in the supply chain a species could be substituted without the end consumer being aware of it. So by doing these tests, we're actually um, checking that the system's working. With species identification, uh, you can be extremely confident in your results. There's usually a clear genetic distance between them, and therefore when you identify um, something to species level, you can be uh, rock solid in your, in your level of certainty uh, over the identification. When it comes to populations, it's more interesting, um, so we have to use more advanced techniques. What we're looking at here is uh, a DNA sequence from one of your samples. Um, and you can see a series of peaks in different colours. This kind of work in terms of geographic origin is very new in fisheries. and We've only really been starting to have the ability to do it for the last two or three years. It's cutting edge research and transferred into current issues. Then the differences in the code here would tell us whether it was Pacific or Atlantic. Yeah. For the most part, it's very good. The MSC has got very low levels of substitution. Um, we've detected one or two cases in the past four years. Um, so I think it's looking fairly good. But it hasn't been absolutely perfect, and therefore it's certainly worth continuing um, this kind of approach. If there's an issue found, so what we will do is the, the certifiers, if they know that there has been a problem in a supply chain, they will investigate that company. So if there is evidence found and MSC has been substituted with non-MSC fish, then that company would lose their certification. They would have it suspended until they had put in place corrective actions. I can see that the, the DA testing has, that giving that assurance has the positive effect because it gives people the confidence in the eco-label and by giving people the confidence in the eco-label that can increase the, the demand and therefore you know, inspire fisheries to join the programme and therefore increase their sustainability. Yeah.